Good evening everyone, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to be going through the MLP Drawing School uh, Drawing with Few Strokes Challenge. So I'm basically going to be making up the digital examples. Uh, over here in the bottom corner I've got a bunch of art laid out that I'm going to be using uh, today. Now this challenge is about improving line confidence and speeding up your drawing. Uh, the basic gist is to take a reference picture like the one we have here and then with only 15 lines, try to replicate it. So it can take as uh, long as you want, but it should be not too long per picture. Alrighty, now let's get started. What I'm looking for here is what are the parts of this image that need to be in there? We've got a bit of a, a, bit of a tired looking expression, so we need to have the downward facing ear. The eyes, the further one a little bit uh, shorter, the low brow, the sort of disinterested things. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines already. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a decent representation of that image. I'm taking up a lot of my canvas here. I'm going to zoom in even more. Uh, all of the ones in this row are done by me, so it's another one. Let's try to capture this. A little bit more of the uh, entire body here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15. That one did not turn out as well as I'd like it to, but that's why we are learning. Now with this one, I sort of want to capture uh, more of the pose than the face. So let's switch to a different color. I'm a little bit darker than that. Yeah, that works. So the important things are that hoof, that's uh, that front hoof that's leaned back a little bit, and the tilt of the head. So let's start with the body here. We've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, one more line, 15, yeah, I think that captures the uh, expression pretty well, well, the expression, the pose, just the pony in general, and I think, one, two more, two more of mine, and then we move on to somebody else's art. Okay, this is a very fun, uh, fun dynamic expression. Oh, sorry, fun dynamic pose. So, let's move over a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now with this uh, with this pose, I think sort of the main elements are the eyebrows, just showing it off. This muzzle with the little crinkle in it, and these teeth that are bad. So that's I tried to focus on those as well as this. And I think with fifteen lines, that's a pretty good uh, pretty good copy of that. See what we got next. A bit of a flying pose. I'll start off with the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't what I wanted, but let's work it out from here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Interesting. Not exactly how I would have done it if I had more lines, but to be honest, that works. Uh, important thing is with this challenge is no undo. So if you make a mistake, just keep keep on trying and uh, see if you can do a little bit better on your next one. Oh. So these next uh, pictures are from Rainflow Crash, a bunch of artists that are. Uh, let us study this stuff, the MLPDS. Okay, standing, eating some stuff. It's the side. The horn is a big one. Let's start off with that. Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Decided to make it a bit of a cherry instead of a slice of cake because it takes a few less lines. I would have gone for the full uh, full pose, but that one is not crazy dynamic. Oh, that one's that one's a fun angle. Let's try this. Change our uh, brush color again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I reckon that works. Might be uh, bending the rules a little bit to do corners as a single line, but I don't mind too much. It's just for fun and to practice. So. 
think that's uh, yep. Moving on to Covery. Uh, links to all these are in the description. Okay. This helps a little bit more room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that, that's an interesting one. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that gets there. Not quite the uh, same expression on the face, but. Oh, interesting. Now, I like to focus on the face and capturing expressions. But to be honest, you can focus on whatever you want here. You can do uh, actually. Let's let's do that for this one. Let's I'll do one where I focus mostly on the face, so I do my usual thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Down here, let's do one that focuses more on the uh, rest of it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. So that captures the face. That captures a lot more of the uh, whole expression around. To a lighter blue. Next ones are from Dawnfire. Absolutely uh, prolific artist. Which one of these do we want? Let's do Twilight. Got a fun, fun, lively pose. One, two, three, four. Got the wings, got the hooves in there. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 10, 11, 12, Maybe should have given a little bit more definition of the wings, but we got that for next time. It's all a learning exercise. It's it's about learning what you can include being the most important bits and what you can leave out. So let's let's try that one again, actually. See how, see what we can improve to get the uh, the pose down as a well. whole. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a bit better. Gets a little bit more of a view of what she's doing, but maybe if I'd have done something like that, add a little bit of a flick on the ends of those, that would have been uh, even more. Showing it even better. But that's why these are just quick, quick little sketches. Next one from Dawnfire. We've got vinyl. Yeah, this is a very interesting angle. Uh, let's start off with a one, two, three. I accidentally touched off there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, you can see it there. I think because I didn't have as much room to play with, this hoof is a little bit uh, undefined, but you can see the, the body, leg, leg, and then hair coming over and hiding the other uh, the other eye. But learning to do uh, eye shapes and big swishes would help me a lot, I reckon. And last one from Dawnfire, a songbird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Got sort of the face going on. Zoom in here, down here actually, so you can see it a bit better. Got sort of the face going on. I tried to do the uh, block out the bangs a little bit with that. Sort of the ear, side of the head. That was a rough attempt at the sort of collar thing. And the wings, which pay more attention to uh, actually looking at the drawing next time. Uh, these ones are from Alumex. Okay, this one is, this one is a pose, most certainly is. Got a free space on the canvas. So you can do this one, try to do this one a bit more justice. Uh, all right, let's start off doing uh, the full, full body. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six. I'm not feeling confident in this one. Seven. Oh my god. Eight. Nine. What was that? Ten. Eleven. Sorry, say that. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, that one uh, started out 
not great and uh, continue the trend. So let's try that one again. That's okay, because these are just practicing, seeing where we get, seeing, seeing how controlled we can make our lines. I can call that one line. I can do it in like five lines. The longer and the more controlled that I can make my strokes, the easier it'll be to make a picture that flows nicely. Okay. Let's do this. Let's start off with this. Uh, that neck. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this mouth is eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we didn't get any in any other facial features, but imagine that's just you know do this, color that in black. Yeah. So again, there a little bit better. Doesn't look exactly how we want it to, but I'm learning and I'm practicing which is the important bit. And it's okay if not everything uh, you draw looks perfect because you'll always be able to draw something else. That's a bit better. Okay, this is a fun, uh, fun angle. This is a bit of a simple one in terms of how I want to take this. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so that one is a bit of a Bit of a simpler one because it's got a lot of uh, a lot of very defined shapes here. Let's look at the whole uh, pose from top to bottom. Very interesting, uh, interesting turn of the body there. All right, we've got. So let me just roughly sketch out what I'm thinking. Got like sort of the head over here comes down the neck and then the uh, whole body and the uh, wing over here. What I'm kind of thinking before I uh, approach this is I'm thinking this is a very important shape. This like, this is a very important shape. It kind of defines a lot. This outside shape of the wing defines a lot. This shape is quite important. It sort of defines the uh, uh, the other boundary. It kind of goes down a little bit less steeply there. Got a bit of a ear there. Muzzle there. The horn, which we can just represent with one. And then... that tuft of hair and that tuft of hair. So I think that's sort of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are kind of the main lines so for me that define a lot of stuff, which I can probably add on to after I get there. But that's the rough plan that I'm thinking in my head before I uh, start out putting my pen to paper or tablet. Let's try this. Uh, 
make this quite small actually. Okay. One, two, okay, I am. Choose a different color. And totally restart that from scratch because it was not going in a direction I wanted. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, that gets it close enough I reckon close enough to be recognizable okay this one is a bit of a headshot of Luna go down here just near the ear of this very tired fine line. It'll make my brush a little bit bigger. Kind of used to that. The main bits are sort of this big sweeping arc of the hair, the muzzle, the eyes, The horn. It's kind of this general almost bowl cut shape around here. So let's go for something like that. Uh, okay. No undoes, but I'm gonna try that again. One two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen. Okay, that. Eh. That's interesting. Let's try that again. See if we can uh, improve our strokes a little bit. The main thing that I'm having trouble with, I reckon, is this muzzle. Because I sort of want to get it all down in one line to save on the strokes, but at the same time, I also need it to sort of be accurate and not look horrendous, so. All right, let's give that another bit of shot. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Make this away from the, there. Do more room to play with. We're on eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, that's a bit better. A bit closer. So, 
this exercise is a lot about line confidence and uh, speeding up your drawing and that sort of stuff, but it's also about getting you to think where it is most economical to place your lines. For example, in this one, I just completely ignored the ear, which is probably a good thing because the ear doesn't, in this in this picture at least, doesn't really impart much emotion. If it was like down, and that was a little bit more like that, it could be like, you know, showing showing sad or something like that. As it is, it's just kind of like a general ear shape. It could be like flopped in any, any direction. So not as interested in capturing that. This sort of hair shape tends to be quite important when you're uh, when you're drawing faces and getting the uh, expression down, showing what is revealed about the pony's face and what's hidden up. The ears, uh, sorry, the eyes and the muzzle are always really important, so I always like to try to get them as best I can. Okay, let's move on to the next alone. I think that's the last one, yep. Okay, this is a very interesting one. A lot of weird bumps and uh, ridges, which I'm not sure I'll be able to get down accurately, but I will give it a try. Yeah, that works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Interesting. Let's try that again. Uh, that muzzle is a prominent feature in that. Let's start off with the armor this time. Get that completely out of the frame. One, two, three. Dips down, then up, then around. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Interesting. It's all about experimenting and trying different stuff, so I'll try that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Probably would have liked this to be a little bit more like up here like it is in the reference, but that works. A couple different takes on the uh, same idea, same expression, all that sort of stuff. 
Now let's go and do Alley Claw, one of the uh, other wonderful people in the uh, drawing school. Helps out on the streams all the time. Uh, as in, uh, is one of the primary members of the stream, and I joined after them, so. <laughs> uh, it's a drawing of my little horse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's move this away from everyone. I'm going to fit the face in. We're on eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, you can sort of get that. With that erased, it's a little bit easier, but yeah, sort of get that uh, pose down. And this one is by Delaris, an absolutely amazing artist who drew my horse as well. Woo. Alright, let's uh let's do this. We got the good old face going around, the uh, hair going down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I reckon that's a decent representation of that. Very sassy kind of pose. Let's give this a bit of a shot. One. Two, three, four, just a little bit shorter, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, that was a mistake trying to combine those two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's try that one again, just here, because I feel like trying it again. even lighter colour. Let's make it actually visible. Uh, oh, this is going to be very exaggerated. One, two, three, four, tablet pro, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15. Interesting. You can see some of the differences. That one fairly happy with. I don't want that one. That one's that one's pretty good. Uh, this one's this one's really cool. This one here, pretty weird kind of a way to pose it. That one's cool. I like that one. Yeah. So it's basically just a bit of a um, exercise to let you experiment a bit, let you try drawing some uh, different shapes, and not care as much about uh, getting everything absolutely perfect because when you only have 15 lines to play with there's going to be a lot of uh, weird things that come out things that don't look like much of anything little butterfly looking thing little interesting looking that does not look like sombra Yeah, but yeah, give a challenge a shot if you want. Link is uh, in the description to that. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to come on the MLP uh, Drawing School Discord and ask us. All right, have a good one.